Who is Hellboy? What's Hellboy about? Hellboy. 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 Hellboy was always meant to be my thing that I get to draw. Now, I just can't seem to stop it. I had a vague idea that someday I would draw Monsters for a Living. Marvel was publishing so much back then. I was taking whatever jobs I could get, and I was not very good. I'm not cut out to draw superheroes. I couldn't work for Marvel anymore, and so I just left. I don't know how to draw cars, but I can draw cemeteries and spooky stuff. I thought, oh, I want to do more stuff like that. I just needed the main character. I went in the studio, and I came out later and said, I figured it out, and it's Hellboy. Dark Horse approached me about optioning it for a film. I thought, nobody's ever going to make a Hellboy movie. There was a part of me that said, it's going to be terrible. I'll never be able to touch Hellboy again. Del Toro had a vision for what he wanted to do. There was no shaking that. It's your confusing design. <laughs> it's your confusing movie. Oh! Mike hated certain things. Hated. I said, Hellboy wouldn't do that. And he said, your Hellboy wouldn't. Mine would. That changed everything. It's not like we altered the comic. The Hellboy movies that he made were amazing. That to me is the essence of Mignola and Hellboy right there. Nobody can do what he does. He really touches something about the deepest, most seminal parts of the human condition. He sings with his visuals with a voice that you've never heard before. I built the Hellboy machine. And he wants to share that with the world. It all began with just the guy sitting down and just working on the book. And then it became, you know, this. The star comes directly from Mike Mignola. The problem with the greats is we take them for granted. I just wanted to draw monsters for a living. 